Let's get into some skateboards. Class, Mr. G here. Welcome back to today's class. Today we're going to be talking about skateboard project, the skateboard project that I do. Uh, I have a carpenter buddy, my Spanish teacher. He uh, he made the board for my class, and so we have these series of blanks. And I had this idea. I was at another school, and they had like the cardboard blanks of skateboards that they decked out in the design. I was like, hey, what if we made real skateboards? So went to him. I was like, hey, can can you? take my design here and put make me some blanks that the kids can can work on got you covered for this design we start off with the basic design now me i wanted to have our, my students always do something personal so i do this later on in my term so my student was doing his project based on hispanic heritage month he was doing kind of like a herald tree project getting to know his roots super cool um and i always like to have more of a personal idea with my classes and what they want to do i don't really want to everybody's going to make this marvel movie because that's my thing i'm into that stuff i'm into doing scary horror items even uh, that's my thing that's my motif and i don't want to force that on my students so i try and keep things open-ended for them but let's go over the process all right first things first you gotta have a design now for this i have a large white sheet of paper i had them actually trace the boards onto the sheet of paper so they could do a front and a back design to their piece for those designs you're gonna trace those designs onto the wood itself now the fun thing about taking a drawing and putting it on wood they could lay the paper directly on top of the wood trace over their lines and it'll indent a slightly into the wood itself and then we could go back and we could kind of use like a little rubbing technique or if you press hard enough you can see it very easily uh, and they would take a sharpie and trace that design onto the wood and then start the wood burning process so this process here is multiple layers where you're doing a drawing you're doing a wood burning and then you're doing a painting application so it's several grades for a wonderful simple project this piece here i love this piece uh this was one of my former students who um i've taught this kid over the course of 12 years um so i've i've known him for a minute but so he so for this piece here this is the one that he did so again i'm, I'm going to roll through his his footage i took of him working so once you have the drawing done on the piece and we start the wood burning process wood burning practice works like any of my other wood burning videos that we take the wood burning tool so we have a wood burning tool kit that we have i prefer the ones that have the dial plug on them so you can gauge the heat process uh, this comes in really handy if you're doing a shading element so like i have my the big bold shading tip on this one This looks like a brass slug. Um, and then I have the box that we keep all of our bits into so that we can keep everything nice and neat. Uh, and you're just tracing those lines, getting those little burns in there as you need to. Again, you're, you're so for some of this design work, you wanna have a single burn line. Some of this you wanna have a little bit light char uh, elements to it so that you can kick off uh, a little more of a shading element. Some of these you want to completely black out so you knowing which tip does what makes life a lot easier. Once all of that is completed and it's kind of had a day to cool off, then you come back with some paint. Now we used acrylic paint to finish our pieces off um, and the acrylic paint makes the sealant all on its own, but if you want to, you can use a clear uh, epoxy sealant to over the top of this. Uh, you can either use an epoxy sealant or um, you could shellac them and uh, and have that nice uh, final coverage. This is a this is a great project. Kids get into this because it's a, it's just about something fun, funky, cool that you guys can make. But we did this project, and I really wanted to do a video on this project for over a year. This was the last project that I worked on in class before the pandemic. Right as we were like, we're gonna be off for two weeks. Pandemic hit and I was ready to shoot the video for this project and I finally get to it a year later. I'm just happy to finally shoot it and show you guys this, this project. My kids had a blast with it. I say kids, I've got a completely different crew than that. Uh, my student who made this loaned it to me so that I could, so that I could 
show this uh and i no he gave this to me because he was like i'm because i shot the video and i'm like this is going to be epic and we got the video shot and i showed him i was like check this out it's really cool and uh he's like here mr g you keep this and i'm like oh that's nice i like that oh keeps the heart warm close it out for today's class let's go ahead and do as we always do i hope you one i hope you learned something awesome from today's class got something new something creative something inventive out of this very short tutorial all right, let's go ahead and close out like we always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share on all the various platforms. Get, to the, get this message out there to as many teachers and friends as we possibly can. Educate the masses. I'm always out for getting as many people as educated as possible. Uh, don't forget, if you got a question, comment, or concern during today's class, raise the hand in the comments below. Happy to answer those questions from the classmates. As always, I will see you guys next class. Until then, have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Later, guys. Next class. I'll see you. Ciao.